Got a hold of it now. Oh, oh. right there. Woohoo! Dude, you almost got Look at that. She is just devouring that little roach right now. Ooh, doggy, that is one beautiful tarantula, and welcome to the vlog. And for you spider lovers out there, you are gonna love it because we are gonna feed all of our tarantulas today. We're gonna try to get some cool GoPro footage. We've got different camera angles. We're gonna do the best we possibly can do for you guys because in the next day or two, we are gonna move these guys into the new tarantula rack, and we wanna make sure they get a meal first. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. And for those of you guys that don't like tarantulas, maybe just watch with your eyes squinted. Let's have an amazing time together, and let's go ahead and feed one of my favorite tarantulas, the Brazilian Black. Ooh. There it goes. Oh, I got it! Oh, oh. Did you see the fangs go in? It was crazy, You right? could see them actually go into the cockroach. That was... Oh. Oh. That is awesome! Oh, they're so long. The fangs are so long. Oh, that Look is at that. epic, man. Oh, doggy! How freaking amazing is that? It's one of my favorite tarantulas and it's definitely having a feast. Wow, look at the tarantula. Oh my goodness. This is the best feeding I've ever seen, and we fed a lot of them. I know, that's crazy. Well, hopefully the rest of them will go this good. Oh my God, what an amazing bug. Next up, we actually have a little Smith Eye, which of course is the Mexican Red Knee, and this is not Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth was an absolutely amazing animal. It's out on the West Coast in LA. This one we got because we thought it'd be a good handling one, and it's not such a good handling not one. So, so. Uh, so let's see if it'll eat good. It's usually full of energy. Let's go. Would love to see this girl eat, but it doesn't look like she's that interested, to be honest with you. Again, we want to try to get him to get a good meal because they might go off of food for a short amount of time. It doesn't look like this girl's gonna go for us. She is absolutely gorgeous. It seems like she's a little bit interested. She's just a little bit standoffish right now. And I don't think she's gonna take it. And hopefully as she gets habituated to things here at the Reptarium, she'll calm down and we can take her out because that is what I really miss with Queen Elizabeth. This is one of Noah's favorite spiders yeah, right here. It's, it's the color is surreal. It doesn't feel like it should be here in real life when it's you look at crazy. it. crazy. Of course, this is the purple spider. Bruce, let's see. And it is really fast. So let's see. Hopefully this one will come out for us. We'll see what happens. Here Whoa. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh my one, gosh. This is what nightmares are made of. I can literally feel it. Yeah, he's got a hold of it. He's got a hold of it now. Oh, he's oh. right in there. Woo dude. You almost got it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was repositioning the GoPro oh and that thing just spun around on me like you can't believe. But I think it, it's fine now. Oh my gosh, that thing is crazy! Oh my god, that is awesome! I'm not gonna lie, I literally thought you got like <laughs> tags. <laughs> and again, this is a super cool tarantula. What is it again? I never can remember. Pamphibedius species flamfera. Gotcha, wow, that's crazy. But a purple spider, that thing is ridiculous. And it is high energy. I think it's one of the coolest ones we have. And that cage you set up in the raccoon rack, we should be able to actually see right into its burrow. Gonna be amazing. Next up is this little curly hair which is absolutely adorable. And I can't believe I'm actually saying stuff like adorable, cute, amazing, stuff like that, because just a year ago, I was terrified of spiders. And it's not like I'm gonna be obsessed with them like I am with their other animals and reptiles. But I'll be honest with you, I'm a little obsessed with them because I think they're absolutely incredible. So if you're afraid of them, I'm telling you, you can get over that fear because no one was more afraid of spiders than I was. And I absolutely think they're amazing now. Let's go ahead and see this one eat. Ah, oh, darn, another strikeout. You know, she looked like she was interested at first, but she just didn't take it. But again, that's just the way things go. I guess it's like when you're feeding snakes. Not every snake eats all the time, but uh, still pretty awesome. This is one of the newer tarantulas, and it hasn't fed since we've got it here. This is actually a skeleton tarantula, and I tell it, it is lightning quick. So Bruce is going to give it a shot. It may eat, it may not eat, but it's definitely a pretty amazing animal nevertheless. Ooh. So that's its first meal. That's incredible. 
Oh my gosh, what a cool little tarantula. And this is one that is definitely pretty spooky because it's lightning quick, but look at the webbing that it made. And that's this little den right there. You can see inside there. Wow, that thing is incredible. Back at it with Eric, this time a hognose snake. Aren't these guys like mildly venomous? Are they? I think, how are you feeling? I feel a little woozy. Do you? No, I feel okay. I'm freaking out though. Just come on, let go there, little buddy. Let go, buddy. Go. Oh, hey! Okay. Oh, just a little bit on the bottom there. Oh, well, hopefully. Well, let me know if that swells up on you, okay? Send all your cards okay. to Curtinton Hospital. Okay, yep, perfect. Just make sure you make it till four when you're off work, oh, you all right? Got it. You all got right, it. after that, you can do whatever you want. All right, you're then take a look at this beastie here. Woo, doggy. Of course, that is a Goliath bird eating, the Sturmi, one of the most incredible tarantulas that we own. Definitely not a handling tarantula, but really, truly amazing. I mean, just look at the size of that tarantula. I mean, that's a 10 gallon aquarium, and you can see how big she looks. So hopefully she's gonna eat. I have no idea if she will, but uh, it will be impressive if she does. So let's go ahead and give it a shot, Bruce. Darn it, a little bit of a miss on that one, but we might come back a little bit later. We'll try, we'll let her get back in her den and maybe she'll come out and actually eat when she's in her den. Being out like this might just be a little bit intimidating for her, but still, what an absolutely gorgeous animal. And this is how tarantulas are. If you remember, the red knee refused food for us, but we just left it in there. And sure enough, she went back and she's got it right now. Look at that, she is just devouring that little roach right now. What a cute little monkey. And again, I don't have the expertise for these as I do snakes. So they are a little bit tricky for me. I'm like, I don't know why they're not eating or why they do sometimes eat and stuff like that. But nevertheless, she is definitely munching down. Lori, what do you got going on? Putting ball pythons on the site. Really? What kind? Yes. Of anything good? Actually, there's a lot of really cool stuff. You didn't realize we had. I'm going through and figuring out everything we have that isn't on the site, and holy crap, there was a lot. I didn't realize we had that many. I know. I noticed <laughs> that I was down here, and there was like five racks that said like not on the site yet, and I'm like, what is going on? But we have been really busy. So show me a couple things that are awesome. It's in shed, but you can still see it's a black pastel mimosa. Yeah, those and are. And it's got some cool. really cool white markings yeah. on it. It's crazy that that champagne mimosa is of course a ghost champagne and then that black pastel really makes it cool but for whatever reason the champagne stuff a lot of times has that pied look yeah. or that kind of ringer thing going on so that thing is really gorgeous the next thing that i found that was really crazy is a pewter spider cypress but look at the head on this guy oh my gosh, how cool is, cool is that head that thing is really it almost wild. reminds me of like a burmese or something doesn't it it is definitely wild looking with the pattern cool. on the two sides like that no, that is super cool. That's cool. Of course, the pewter would be a cinnamon pastel. It's a spider and it's a cypress. So there's a lot going on in this. And a lot of times the cypress will have a lot of striping. And you can kind of see that striping that's right here. That's really that telltale sign of cypress. Also, a lot of times you see cleaning of the sides. But with this many genes, with the cinnamon gene and the spider gene, everything else, it kind of gets mixed up. But that's definitely a beautiful snake. This is a super bright light one. Oh, yeah, that thing is cool. Pastel Fire Banana Spinner. Oh my gosh, that thing is so on. cool. It's that really thing is pretty. Yeah, it's really, really, I mean, just look at how soft that animal looks. Wow, that thing is cool. And that fire gene is really what brightens it up a tremendous amount. Of, obviously, it's got banana, it's got pastel, it's got spider, it's got pinstripe, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. That thing is awesome. Last but not least, what a pleasant surprise is I found a blue eye leucistic. Oh, you just found, you didn't know we had any? No, I thought we'd been out for a long time. This little lonely male has been hiding in this rack, so <laughs> So, uh, I'm sure it'll be gone really quick oh once I God. put it on the site. Yeah, there's no doubt. I have a feeling a lot of these ball pythons, once they're on the site, are going to sell pretty quick because we've got some beautiful ones. When do you get them up? I'm doing it right now. That's what okay. I'm doing. Putting them up. Okay. So for those of you that are looking for something different, bhbreptiles.com, you go check it out. Uh, Lori, I'll let her get back to work and put these animals up on the site. And again, maybe as early as tomorrow, but for sure within the next couple days, we'll be putting all of the tarantulas in the new rack that is all done. You can see how good it looks with Lori doing all of the fixing up. You don't see any more of the screws, no more of the foam. Everything is good. Bruce went in and did a little bit more decoration in some of these things. That one there is going to be the purple tarantula's habitat. 
and this one here will be the bird eater. So we are ready to roll. I can't wait to get the bugs in here. They are so incredible. And I know people that visit the Reptarium are really gonna love it because they really love seeing them now, but they're really not in enclosures that are really good for display. These are gonna be incredible. I kind of do think it's a bummer that we're getting kind of to the end of the build out here at the Reptarium. I realize we've been open for almost six months and we're still kind of working on things. We will absolutely redo some of our stuff. Obviously, you know that as some of these animals get larger, they're gonna to need to go into different exhibits. So we'll be continuing to change things around, better things. Like I had mentioned, I'd like to add a few more water features. Definitely have to fix Lucy's waterfall over here. So there's plenty of little things to do, but don't you fear because it's not too long up that we're gonna start working on Reptarium number two. We have a few options in the fire right now, but I think it's not gonna to be too long before we really get that rolling. So for those of you that like to see this build out, we're gonna do more and you guys can come along on the journey. It'll be absolutely amazing. As for now, like I said, we're getting close to the end here, but we'll always be switching animals out because we want people that come to visit not to get bored and go, well, I've been there five times and I've seen everything already. So we'll always be updating, but nevertheless, it is basically a bummer that our last project did get ticked off the list. And before I end the vlog, I always read your comments and people are like, more salt and pepper, put them in the vlog. So of course my girl Salt here is doing absolutely wonderful. So is Pepper, they're both growing tremendously. We'll definitely get some weights on these guys because there's no doubt that she has grown and Pepper is an absolute pig. I know Pepper has grown too. And with that said, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of departure from the norm where I fed tarantulas instead of snakes and lizards and stuff like that. Like I had mentioned, I'm kind of getting really excited about the tarantula stuff. We are absolutely gonna move them into the tarantula wall either tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure exactly which one. And then that will be all set and it will be absolutely epic. And as for now, I am gonna wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Your support does mean the world to me and thank you guys so much for everything that you do for me. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button if you like the video? Can you turn those post notifications on if you wanna know when I upload a video? Make sure you comment down below because like I mentioned, I love reading your comments. Be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.